In this video, we're going to go over some Zoho Flow tips and tricks, but in the description, you will find a video overview that covers all the basics. Zoho Flow allows you to connect Zoho apps together if they don't have an integration available or if the integration doesn't do what you're looking to do. This flow is a good example of something that the integration between Zoho Desk and Zoho CRM cannot accomplish. When a new ticket is added to Zoho Desk, it finds a contact in the CRM and then it adds a tag to it. This is a simple flow, but you can add more functionality to it and even connect multiple apps together. You can also connect other non-Zoho apps, but in this course, we're focusing on Zoho apps. Let's start with the tips and tricks. The first thing I want to cover is adding connections. So let's search for Zoho Books. And we're going to add the create contact person action to the flow. Zoho Books is not connected to Zoho Flow yet, so let's click on connect. Name the connection and click on authorize. On this window, let's click on accept. And now Zoho Books is ready to be used. Most Zoho apps will connect to Flow easily, but when you're working with non Zoho apps, the connection process could be more complicated. I'm going to cancel and exit this flow. I want to show you something else about connections. In the settings, you have the connections tab. Here's where you can troubleshoot any issues. Most of the times, reconnecting it will solve many issues. You can also create a connection here that can be used on a flow later on. All right, let's open a different flow and go to the builder. This is a simple flow that when a new contact is added to the CRM, we're adding the info to a spreadsheet. Something very useful is the logic features available. For example, we can add a decision. This will allow us to perform certain actions if the criteria is met. So if the first name is null, meaning it doesn't exist, this is going to be the condition. Click on done. Now we can add actions to this condition. We can also add more conditions using the plus button. And if none of the conditions are met, the flow will continue the default decision. Another useful feature is that we can send email notifications to users directly from flow. So let's add the send email action to the condition. And we're going to quickly configure it. Now, if this condition is met, I will get an email notification. Another great feature is custom functions that gives Soho Flow a lot of flexibility. To create one, just click on custom function. The function is coded using Zoho Deluge. You can also use the function gallery to see some examples. I already have a custom function, so I'm going to edit it. This is a simple function that grabs a date and formats it to the format you specify. Let's add it to the flow. The first field is the date format you want to format. And the second one is where you can type the format you want. You have to use the deluge formatting code. Zoho Flow allows you to format dates directly from the date field, so you don't have to use a custom function. Let's go to apps, search for Zoho CRM, and I'm going to add the create module entry action. We're going to create a deal. If we scroll down, we can see the closing date field. And if we add an input here, for example, time created, We see this new setting called format date and time. Here you have to select the format of the date you want to change and it will format it to the Zoho default date format. Now let's go over debugging. Once you're ready to test a flow, click on the play button. In this window, you can test your flow and find potential issues. Right now, the flow is waiting for some changes to be made in the CRM. So in this case, if we add a contact to the CRM, flow will receive the information and you will see it here. We also have the recent executions tab. If this flow has been working, but you made some changes, you can use a previous execution to test the new changes. If you click on view, you can see how the data was processed during the execution. In the history tab, you can find all the executions that happened so far. For example, if your flow fails and you fix it, you will be able to re-trigger the failed tasks from this screen. You can also see why the flow failed by clicking on it and then reviewing the inputs and outputs. All right, let's close this and go to the settings. 
The last tip I have for you is that if you ever have to contact Zoho Flow support, enable the support access before sending the email and make sure to say that you already enabled it in the email. Also include the Flow URL and the organization ID. This will ensure a smooth initial interaction. Otherwise, they will get back to you asking for that information.